What a pug no piece, how are ya? Welcome back to Thursdays on my channel. Now, I affectionately like to call Spooky Thursday. Now, before I begin, if you want more Spooky Thursday stories, if you want to hear more of my rambling and attempted storytelling, hit that subscribe button below. Become part of this grumpy Pugamo crew. For fun, why not? Excuse me. Oh! Excuse me. Holy moly. Now, having said that, if you have any stories of, that you would like to share, feel free to hit me up in the contacts or like on Facebook or Twitter or uh, Instagram, stuff like that. And I'll do my best. Shall we begin one of the stories? We shall. This is called called um see this story is about a particular room in a mm, distinguished hotel in downtown Marquette called the Landmark Inn. Um this particular room is called the Lilac Room. Um let's see here. A little backstory. Uh, Landmark Inn was is one of the most distinguished hotels in downtown market, known for its grandeur, render, serene and lavish decor. Previously known as the Northland Inn, the hotel was once popular or was once a popular social hub. Uh, proceeding, let's see here, yeah, proceeding its debut in January of 1930, and atop its conspicuous opulence and late peer views, the landmark is proclaimed to be haunted. Cloaked in the corner of the sixth floor lies the room, lies the lilac room, a room that Sends guests into cold sweats rather than a peaceful rest. Peaceful rest. Story goes that one day the lilac ladies lovers set sail on the shores of Lake Superior, never to be seen again. After he was declared disappeared, er, excuse me. Yeah, after he was declared disappeared, the lilac lady hung herself in the room in her own despair. Now, it's been said that the lilac lady is still there. So lingers, wanders around the recurrent room, in her, yeah, recurrent room, waiting for a sailor swear to return from the sea. Hotel employees have heard the buttons of accounts and sightings from the ghost, or er, excuse me, from guests and switch for the operators alike. She is said to be floating, floating around a floral gown, also having a heavy heart. Hmm, interesting, now isn't it? Let's see. I don't know what do you guys think. Do you believe this? The story of the haunted room in this beautiful hotel let me know and hopefully I will be back next Thursday with yet another story of spookiness now remember just because October's over and Halloween has come and gone does not mean Spirits. The spirits are all spooky. Have been. These are here. I'm going to put them over here. And find me on everything in the social medias. Um, yeah. I'll see you next Thursday. Amen. It's spooky. Mm. Thank you. Bye.